I don't understand why he's there. Not only that, but he's not even a side character because he barely has lines or the only time you ever see him is when they're fighting and then that's it. Or maybe he's just standing in the background while everyone's talking. And it's like, if you weren't even going to give him something to do or say or explain why he's even there, why did you even add him? Oh, because he's black. Fuck you. Is that why you added Bishop? Because he's black? Fuck you. Why is he even there? He's from the future. Remember? And he said himself in the old series that he's only there to change certain events and then he has to return because he's not allowed to stay back there. Because the longer he stays there, the more he alters the future and the more shit fucks up. So he's only there for a little time and then he has to go back. And even Rogue broke his... The last time we saw him, bro, Rogue broke his time machine and send him back his ass back. We, you did what you did. Get out of here before you don't want to... You're not going to kill Gambit, you dick. And she sent him back. And that's all we, we fucking knew. Why is he back? Is he here to save another time parallel? Is f something bad happening in the future? Why is he still in the past? They don't explain nothing. He's just there. And even worse, he's just in the background as a side character. Doesn't contribute or do anything unless fighting is happening. Oh, fighting is happening. Here comes the black guy with his guns and powers to fucking fuck shit up. Because that's the only time he's useful. Fuck you, Marvel and Disney. How dare you? Bishop is a good fucking character. And you don't explain nothing about him or why he's even there. He's irrelevant to the point that it makes no sense to, for him to even be in this X-Men 97 team. No explanation why he is even on the fucking team. What, he only comes out uh, the, the most time where he says anything or does anything is during the fights. But speaking of the fights, god damn it. Here's a good example. Every time the fights happen, it's nonsense made up from some fucking two-year-old's imagination because it just doesn't make any sense in the logic of the fucking show that you've been watching for years. So the beast knocks one of the sentinels down and goes into the chest and then he puts his arms because for some strange reason, his arms and his legs, because for some strange reason the sentinels are made with attachments so that you can put your arms and legs and arms in it and then you're able to control the sentinel like a robot if you want to do it manually are you trying to tell me that trask and that other idiot and master mold decided to put a manual human control in the center of each sentinel so that when Beast broke into it, he d he just started controlling it like if he was a fucking mecha suit. That just makes no fucking sense in the logic of the actual cartoon. You know, the old show at least m followed its own common sense. Where it, the old show, the people that were writing knew that the kind of shit they're showing here is not possible within their little fucking made-up fantasy world. It's not possible. Uh, it gets worse. Because in the beginning of one of the episodes, Gambit is in the kitchen cooking breakfast for people. And this is what he looks like. And there's a lot of people saying, well, that's the way they were. They dressed back then. Fuck you. No one in the 90s, especially in 1997, ever had a dress code like that or ever had a hairstyle like that at all. Ever. This is like 1980s, 70s, maybe even. You know what I'm saying? Like late 70s, early 80s? Fucking shit. This is in 1997. The idiots. I can even remind you right now what Gambit actually looked like when he didn't have his fucking suit on. He would just have a ponytail. He wouldn't have this fucking, uh, I don't know, Goku side woke as fuck haircut to the side with a long... This is like 
you're incorporating nowadays into 1997? No one had hair like that in the fucking 90s. And I'm showing you right now, every time Gambit was outside of his fucking uniform, that's how he looked. Oh my god, he looks like Hook from AEW? I'm not gonna lie, he's just missing the tattoos and shit. God damn it. This is bad, y'all. I need to I need to fucking I need to smoke because there's more stuff I'm gonna talk about. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you wanna watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.